Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51. Second round match between Augmented Beard and his lovely necromantic team versus Fanjo and Disgusting Norse. Uh, I'm totally unbiased of course in this commentary as far as the coaches are concerned, but I do not like Norse. <laughs> um, they've got a, what's it called, a bribe there and Zara the Slayer. And uh, you know he might get lucky and bang everyone out, that's what Norse try to do. Absolute scumbags. And there you go, he's got a removal instantly. I just I just I just don't like them. I feel like you know, like other high variance teams, I feel at least have more going for them. <laughs> Norse are like an armor seventeen. I'm find everyone who plays Norse that has life to dice you. Beat them to within inch of their fucking life. <laughs> Thanks for that, Storm. <laughs> like that's that's the that's the thing I think. Like you know, I obviously lizard men are annoying because they're so overpowered. Skaven are annoying because they just roll dice and whatever they do and stuff. And like, so there, there are other annoying teams, but for me, I feel like Norse are the most annoying because at least, at least you know, there's a reason to take Skaven and Lizard Men. Why would anybody take Norse? You've just got to get lucky. You literally just have to get lucky. That's the entirety of your team is can I get luckier than the other guy? And there's not even any pull to it, you know? Like, at least Skaven have got movement 9, edge 4 players. And, you know, Skaven would pretty much have to get lucky, almost. Pretty high variance, Skaven. Too much for me, anyway. You're right, uh, Voro, I don't like Blood Bowl. I love it, but um, I'm not, I'm not going to be playing it anytime soon, that's for damn sure. Classic uphill frenzy trap. Just rolls the instant pal, not a problem. Like, you can't be afraid of these as Norse, can you? Like, it's your bread and butter, really, making terrible plays. Like, plays with a terrible downside, but like, you have to go for it because it's it's better than not doing it, isn't it? Oh, wow. No uphill there. You know, there's a thing when, like, when I think it was PC said about, like, will it affect how somebody plays? And it's like, no, it won't. And, but nor should it, you know, like, because you just have to, you just have to accept that you're going to have to do scumbag uh, frenzy traps every now and then because... They're a bash team with only two strength and no guard and frenzy. Yeah. Really bad. They're just a really bad Blood Bowl team. Is he gonna. Uh, yeah, gonna tackle Pomzara, isn't he? Oh, kills this one. Hello, Pedro. You'll be glad to know, Pedro, your star of the show in the new Battle Brothers run. The lead scout rides again. Uh, so, oh, he's going to foul, he's going to foul, he's going to GFI foul, three assists. Pretty fair, really, because, you know, zombies are pretty throwaway, aren't they? And he gets thrown away. <laughs> Did he apple that death and, and turn it into a miss next? It looked like it didn't work. But at least he wasn't dead and gave him an extra player. Yeah, so it half worked. Hello! <laughs> In chat. 
many of our players now only with these three stuns. This is a very uh, dodgy turn for Fanjo. Fanjo Kazooie. Wyken. A working girl. <laughs> Tackle Palm Zara again. Oh, I can't reach. I'm not gonna no I can't. Yeah, I could hit from there, I could put in two assists and hit from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Quite like that. I think that's what he's going for as well. Well maybe not. Oh just doing GFI. Oh, I don't like that. I think it's much better to put in the assist here and then and then hit from there and then save the GFI. But you know, hit to do the GFIs. Now can uh can yeah can kind of mm, don't like that. I, again, I'd have I'd have like bracketed this guy so he completely dominated. At least now he can try and dodge away and get away from the fleshies. I would have had him. I would have liked to have seen him completely dominated by the fleshies. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. No and way, I will Jose. Defend. I will defend. Woo, flip me, guys. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you very much for staying fantastic for four glorious ones. One whole beaver pregnancy. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. I know I reckon find me a be a pretty good gigolo, to be honest. Especially for Poggler. I mean, I mean, Mrs. Poggler. Definitely, definitely not Poggler himself. Definitely Mrs. Poggler. <laughs> well. <laughs> definitely not Poggler. Definitely Mrs. Poggler. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, a wanna relies on the dauntless fails. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised by me. <laughs> Block, block on the Yeti, saving him. I've got no idea what it is, so... No. Oh, right, you mean the game of Blood Bowl. I thought... <laughs> with saying you were watching Nolius Nolisius' stream, I was like, are you doing Nolisius' game? I'm like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Casting it, yeah, probably. Oh wow, look at that! A uh, a failing a Kaz Norwegian diced again. Oh wow, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good game to do live, yeah, man. Cause that is a pretty good game to do live. The man kiss meat throttle versus Diamond. Ah. Super interesting. I mean, the replay format is definitely better to watch, I feel. Um, whatever whatever Noalius pays me to bash around with. Way! <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, on a more serious note, um, probably... Probably uh, orcs. Orcs are the best. Yeah. Oh, he finally makes a dodge. Gets his foul. In. Orcs, not fucking black orcs. Ugh. I want to win games, not lose them. I mean, I wouldn't, man, kids. Oh, 
I don't enjoy losing. No, only three turns left for the Norses. But there's a. Can you see the the gap in the necromantic defence? <laughs> plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. Hmm. Now, somehow, somehow Fanjo saw the space. Unbelievable. What a play, guys. I... I've got no idea what the NAF numbers suggest for, for Black Orcs, but my normal working brain suggests that they're pretty shit. But they're not as bad as you'd expect, because even lizard men with minus 22 movement are still pretty good. Yeah, I think you had to put something in the way. At least make him blitz through there, you know. Oh well, killing that guy was pretty good. Gets a zombo. Makes this foul even more inevitable. I've got no idea, man, kids. Yeah, exactly. They've got, they've, they've got, they have got some pluses over lizard men, but it's not much. They're mostly lizards with minus twenty-two movement. Oh wow! What a huge foul! What a huge foul! There goes Fanjo's main way, main way to win this match. Yeah, and, and why not, right? When he when he got that kill, with that kill and the extra reserve, then you always make the foul. That was like that was uh, one of the worst things about that guy getting killed, wasn't it? Everyone plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within inch of their fucking life. <laughs> Thanks, Randall Carlson. I mean, I can't I can't argue with that sentiment right now. <laughs> why is he d dodging the? Rather than with the ball to get in range, maybe he's worried about a counter score. Oh, there you go. But then, that just means you haven't got a reroll for that. I don't know what Fanjo was thinking there. I guess he hasn't got many players, so he was hoping something crazy happens. You've got to get this wolf down the field, haven't you? And then, uh, first thing. I'll have nope. to uh, find out more about these boobies. No, you don't. <laughs> Exclamation point north. Woof. Woof's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, he's just going to pick it up with that wolf. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, I guess. Gets the power that he needed. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God. Is this a dicing? <laughs> well, there you go. That's... The Norse got norse And you can probably just GFI to get away from Zara. Oh, he can't! <gasps> so, rules is written, right? Zara, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, double GFI, can't blitz. But, Blood Bowl 2, Zara can blitz. Does Fanjo know? Does Fanjo know about Zara and Stab? Could even go this way, double dodge. He doesn't. He doesn't know about Zara. Ah, oh, disaster. She could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just one dodge. Could have just gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then stabbed him from there. I mean, maybe he knew and he didn't want to like uh, exploit the bad programming. But yeah, that that was a ball blitz that was. Impossible 
in actual rules. But thanks to Cyanide being utterly incompetent, uh, Zara could have just 3 plus. 3 plus dodge with dodge, 2 GFIs, and then stab the ball carrier. I mean, I can't imagine he didn't see the ball blitz, right? It's weird, isn't it? I guess the uh, wolf should have been like nearer the sideline because so that he had to do the four plus three plus because at the moment that was just a one one three plus dodge. So that was a bit a bit bad from augmented beard to uh, to allow that ball blitz like so easily just on one three plus. But there you go. Well, this is this is over, isn't it? I mean, not. <laughs> <laughs> Not to kill the hype or uh, Elliot's sanity, but this is over. Say it's over. Ah, uh, how do you recover this game as Norse? It's pretty easy game of vision. Um, you you know you just play more Battle Brothers and forget about this shitty game of Blood Bowl. Yeah, I mean, that, that's about where I'd put them, Voro, just on thinking about it. I, like, what's, what are they better than? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, what are they going to do better than? Mm, I don't know, Rabino. On nuns virgins? Not in any of the videos I've seen. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Great Toto Frias. I think he's just given up and doesn't care. They don't need to be when they become nuns. There you go. Uh, why are angry archers better than regular ones? Go on. I don't know why we're doing shit jokes, but go on. <laughs> they become crossbowmen. But bowmen are better than a uh, bowmen. Depending on whether you're talking about real life or uh, certain video games, I guess crossbowmen are better than bowmen in Battle Brothers. There you go, look, he's made a removal. Maybe he can still win. You know, he's got six players versus a full team. Maybe he can win. It's not over. Don't say it's over. I love when Elliot does the Elliot voice now. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, another one's gone. Hey, they've got five players. Maybe they can win. I don't don't say it's over. There's still a chance, right? That you're about to go on holiday, and you and like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is mean, Perivel, yeah. That is mean. Oh, well, they, well, they've got four players left. Don't say it's over. <laughs> Anything could happen. <laughs> God. And they're one nil down as well. I would as well, and if if anyone complained about not trying in Chalice, they could fuck off. And no, Rubinho, BB. They did get to the final against uh, Chaos Dwarves one season, and then they did they did get the penalty shootout with a reroll deficit. So therefore, there's no way 
on earth they could have won the chalice that season. So, um, yeah. Correct. I'm, I'm not bitter about it at, at all. <laughs> oh man, he's got four players left, he might be able to win. Well, I mean, he was the rightful winner, wasn't he, Fymir? He, he lost the he lost the kickoff, uh, coin toss, and he stopped the Norse score, and he took it a kicks with real advantage. So he was the rightful winner, Wh whoever it was. He was definitely the rightful winner, you know. And it's just a comedy mega dicing, wasn't it? Bruce uh, does play a little bit, yeah. Probably plays more than most. Not more than most streamers, but more than most humans. Humans. Blitz and heat. We've got run bad at home. <laughs> um, yep, yeah. well, he's got two players left. Don't say it's over. <laughs> That's pretty incredible, Paravel. Legal concede. But look, this guy, look, don't, don't be dickheads, okay? This guy could get the ball, he could pass it to the other guy, he could run down the field, he could double score. It's not over. <laughs> dickheads. It might be over though. Uh, maybe Pogler, yeah. Maybe Pogler. What's happened is I haven't changed the scene from Battle Brothers. And there we go. I changed the scene to Battle Brothers rather. By mistake. Wonderful. <laughs> Seamless. No, nobody saw those three. Oh, another Kaz. Look, he's still got a player on the pitch. Don't say it's over. <laughs> I mean, now maybe it is over. <laughs> maybe now. Uh, yep, yep. Elliot can confirm that this is now definitely over. Yeah, watching Norse getting destroyed is. He probably should have done this handoff earlier. Because it was over about fucking five turns ago. <laughs> Absolute pitch clear. Way glorious. <laughs> indeed, Pogler, indeed. Well, one's BB and one's BB2. And there'll be a BB3 soon. Oof. How exciting. Oh yeah, it is over now. Yeah. See, now it's over. Now you can say it's over because now it's two now. Maybe I just shouldn't have a BB two one at all. <laughs> just only do Battle Brothers. What a struggle the last Battle Brothers game was. Flip me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the contrast turned right down.
Thanks for all. Look at that, what a stab. I can't get a big head with with uh with Tony and J5 around. Always mean to me. Right, well there you go, that was a great match, wasn't it? Really fun one. I'm sure Fanjo had a great time. Um, <laughs> seven cards, five kills, pitch clear, glorious. Um, congratulations to Augmented Beer. Commiserations to Fanjo, you know, for playing Norse. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.